Hey guys, how's it going? So we're gonna do a mail time today. I've got a stack of stuff, ooh, stack of stuff behind me and now on the floor. And it's kind of a weird day today because it's like a little ominous. I think we're gonna get a storm tomorrow, um, but it's hot and humid and weird. So it's a perfect day to do a mail time underneath a fan. It's really nice in here right now. So I'm just going to get into the first box. This one was sent to us from Walla Walla, Washington, which is actually not that far away from us. Like, I don't know how many miles, but I think it's like a four-ish hour drive. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've been there. From Paula. She said there were a bunch of fairy garden things. Look at that, it's a ceramic mushroom. Oh, a purple one. I better keep this packing material near. I don't want any of these to get damaged. Cute little red one. Yellow one. My, my, I'm gonna just have to do a mushroom themed garden, I think. Fungi themed. Teal. That's teal, right? Teal with green spots. Look at this little fairy. Oh. oh, look at that. A little swinging bench. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you, Paula. What a thoughtful thing. Kind of been in the mood to make fairy garden lately anyway. Well, good timing. Pack these like I packed my Christmas ornaments. Not well, but I get by. This is from Allison Ben in New Hampshire. It says liquid on the box. So Alice and Ben, they were planning on coming to the Boston Flower Show to meet Aaron and I, and you know, you know that got ended up getting canceled, and we had canceled, you know, going to that show for obvious reasons earlier on. And she said they had planned on bringing us some regional goodies, and so they decided to send them out. Vermont maple syrup. I was actually just thinking about making pancakes today. That is so weird. I told Aaron that we needed to run to the store and get some ingredients because I wanted to do scrambled eggs, pancakes, and bacon tonight for dinner. Maple syrup, pure maple candy. Oh, and then she did include a fun fact that uh, it takes 10 gallons of sap from the maple tree to produce one quart of syrup. That's intense, I did not know that. Thank you guys for sending these out, it's very sweet. This one's really light. I don't know who it's from yet. Scent from Amazon. Oh, from Sarah. Oh, she ordered me one of the Tommy Co kneeling pads. I lost mine, you know, I had a red one back a while ago. It was my favorite kneeling pad ever, ever. Um, and it, I think it was a larger version than this one. It was about like this wide, but like so durable and so comfortable. So this is going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I was just telling Aaron I need to go get another kneeling pad because I've been getting just like the black foam ones, which have, they work okay, but like the handles start to tear because they get hot when they're out sitting in the sun. And when you pick them up, you can feel how flimsy like even just their handles are. Um, so I'm excited. Thank you for sending this, Sarah, from Rick and Evie. Evie? 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 Okay, so this is interesting. She said that she made he her husband is a potter and he made a clay bird mold and then she made the succulent planter by pressing wet clay into the mold firing it twice it has a stain in two different glazes oh and there's a cookie mix in there oh yeah oh benjamin i'm not gonna be able to show him this until they're actually baked because he will want to pick all the nem nems is what he calls them out of there i love these double chocolate cookies Oh, that may have been a disaster because this says fragile on it. Oh, mercy. Okay. Oh, look at that. There's a little reservoir I can plant with succulents. There's a drain hole on the bottom right there. I love that. I love the color of it. I love the detail of it. 
and handmade. That is so amazing. Oh, I'm excited about that. I really like that color of blue. It's very like calm and just really pretty. And then this is a mug that Rick made. Oh, look at that. How neat. Oh, I didn't even see the front. It's like wood grain. Oh, that's cool. So it's half thrown and half hand built. Wow. Thank you, Evie, Evie, and Rick. Really appreciate these gifts. I just don't know. Like I always, uh, I always feel so bad when I don't know exactly how to pronounce a name, but I have known an Evie and I've known an Evie. So I don't really know and they've spelled them the same way, which is wild. So hopefully I'm right on at least one of those. Let's do a few envelopes. This one is from Christine in Beaverton, Oregon. <laughs> I live in the garden, just, just sleep in the house. That's awesome. Thank you, Christine. From Johnny in North Carolina. So Johnny sent some cards. They are a sampling of beautiful blank greeting cards that are sold by Dare County Extension Master Gardener volunteers. I'm just gonna show you each one of them. Many of our local Outer Bank artists generous, generously support the Master Gardener fundraising effort by donating their original artwork for us to produce these lovely cards. The sales of these cards continue to support the maintenance of the Outer Banks Arboretum and Teaching Garden in Kill Devils Hill, North Carolina. And Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, let's see, in case you're not familiar with the Outer Banks, we are one of several barrier islands off the coast of North Carolina and Kill Devil Hills is the home of the first flight by Wilbur and Orville Wright. Really interesting. Thank you, I love blank note cards, that's wonderful. It's a gift to me and then a gift to somebody else once they receive the card and then they can enjoy the picture. And this is from, Arkansas. Oh. From Kayla Robertson. Oh, this is a tea towel, you guys. Oh, I love this. And this is so true. Blessed beyond measure. So this is cool. I was trying to read up to see if this was handmade and it is handmade in India by Daughters of Hope. So this beautiful product has been handmade by Daughters of Hope, a social enterprise in the business of bringing hope to poor and often forgotten women in Southern India. Many of these women who come from one of the largest slums in Bangalore have not only had very difficult lives, but they've never been given a chance to better themselves or break the cycle of poverty from which they come. Through Daughters of Hope, they receive not only employment, but training, education, benefits, childcare, and much more. By purchasing, purchasing this product, you are becoming one link in the chain of freedom that stretches to families all over Southern India. That's really cool. This one looks a little bit worse for wear. This is from, shipped from Amazon. Mercy, what happened to this box? Oh, <laughs> yes, another Tommy Co kneeling pad. Hopefully there's a note in this one too. Let's see. Okay, I just scoured this box and I don't find any note from who sent out this kneeling pad. So whoever did, thank you very much. I now have two and I'm gonna put my name on them and I'm not gonna let anybody else use them. <laughs> so we don't lose them on accident. Although it was my fault, I lost the last one. Oh, this right here. I think I talked about this in a video. So there's a um, company that sent this out, clearly haven't used it yet. It's soilkit.com. And I think it's really a cool thing. And I think I wanna do like an actual video on it. Uh, but they send this whole kit out to you. There's like a little information thing. There's a whole bunch of like little trowel gloves, um, all the things you need to gather a soil sample from your garden. And then um, you, I think you put it, let's see, envelope and place in the, okay, there's a posted page envelope in here. Oh yeah. So you gather your soil from your garden um, and you follow their instructions and use like the stuff that's in here that's all sterilized. And then you slide it down in this prepaid mailing envelope and it goes to Soil Kit and they do a full analysis of your soil and send you the results. So I think that's such a handy thing. Like you can order the kit, it shows up at your door and you don't have to leave or go anywhere to figure out 
what kind of soil you have. And I'm always telling people, test your soil, um, go to your extension office. But like, to be completely honest, I didn't even know where our extension office was for the longest time. Um, so if you don't have that kind of resource or you just wanna make it simple, I think this is really cool. Of course, we will do this in our own garden and do a video, hopefully, so that you guys can see how, uh, like how it goes for us. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's what that is. Excited about that. This is from D. Evans in Kansas. This is to Benjamin from Diane. So this right here is a pillowcase, you guys. And I'm thinking that, Diane, did you hand make this? It looks like extremely custom to what Benjamin loves. We've got a John Deere like uh, edge edging here. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Uh, John Deere, this is where your pillow, pillow side where it goes in and then there's like honeycomb and then there's a whole bunch of farm like with tractors and cows chickens sheep eggs and milk oh he's just gonna love that and then there's an apron for benjamin for him to wear while he's helping me either bake goodies in the kitchen or helping out in the garden look how cute that is Oh, that's so cute. He's napping right now. I'm gonna have to try this on him when he wakes up. Thank you, Diane, for sending that. So sweet. All right. This is from Kim. It's a book for Benjamin and I to enjoy together. How sweet. Oh, he's gonna love it. Last mail time, I opened up a box, I think from Stephanie, correct me if I'm wrong, that had a book like Fiona the Hippo. Um, she's, it's a good night Fiona. I can't remember the title of it, but basically Fiona's a hippo that like travels around inside the zoo and says good night to all the animals. And we read that book. I, I think we've got, we might have some video of his reaction. He, like we read it almost every single night and he loves it. Like I turn a page, every time I turn a page, he goes, oh, like that. And then he has to point out all the things in that page, the moon, the stars, the different animals. He calls Fiona the hippo, the bippo. It's very sweet. Anyway, we love getting new books. Thank you, Kim. Let's see, this is from Susan in Illinois. Oh, a whole bunch of beautiful blank note cards. Oh, there's a lot of them. A rose and some beautiful, what are these? I, I can't really tell, what are those? Blue flowers. Oh, look at that, the bench with the fall color around it. And then the fruit tree over the bench. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Oh, I want to be at all of the, in all of these places, like right now, with the fall temperatures. Yes, please. I'm not gonna lie, I've already started to kind of crave fall. Like, it's the beginning of June. Um, but once we get into the 90s, like, I can't complain because it's been the most mild summer we've ever had so far. Like, I was wearing a sweatshirt at the beginning of this week because our low got to 40 one night. Um, but when the days get into the 90s, oh, I just, I crave fall. Look at those. And there's a dish towel. Oh, look at that chicken super cute thank you this is from alabama from linda in alabama okay camera stopped recording there for a second so i'm not sure exactly when that happened but this package came from linda in alabama and she made benjamin a john deere tractor quilt look at that He's going to flip out. <laughs> he is so in love with our tractor, our gator, our lawn tractor. Um, every time we see a tractor in the field, he's just like, he loves it. And whenever, like when we were shopping for a tractor early on, we would take him to the John Deere dealership here locally and let him sit on all of them. And he just ate it up. Like he could stay there all day, not even moving, just sitting on the tractor. So that is just so sweet. Linda, that is amazing. There's also, she says, an apron in here with chickens for me. I love it. Thank you, Linda. It says, plant decoration gifts from Fan Joyce. Oh, these are landscape spotlights. 
Look at that. Wow. So this is what the spotlights look like right here. I'm assuming these are little stakes you, hold on, let me put them on. Okay, so I'm guessing it's like this. You stick this stake into the ground and then you can put your LED lighting however you want it to point. And I think there are four lights here and they're all on the same wire. And look at this, it's like intense amount of wire. So you can run this a great distance and then you plug it in. That'll be fun, Aaron's gonna love this. Thank you, Joyce. Okay, this one is from Amanda in Oregon, in Ontario, in my hometown. <laughs> Amanda, I know where you live. I know this street address. It's not very far from me. Oh, she said I was making, she was making herself a set and thought I would enjoy, enjoy some as well. Look at these little coasters. I am a coaster girl, through and through. I never thought I would become one, but I am. I think it's when I started to buy antique furniture and all of a sudden rings on my furniture made a big difference. <laughs> so that's awesome. Thank you, Amanda. Talent, oh, it's sewing talent. Sewing talent is not something that I was gifted. I can do it. I've got a sewing machine and all the, all the things. I am not a precision person. Um, I'm also not very good at following um, like patterns and things like that. I've tried. Oh. I can, I can get by very, oh cute, very poorly. But anyway, this is from Tara and Anna Marie and Daniel. So I'm gonna read just part of this letter and then we'll look through these. Uh, Dear Laura, my seven year old and four year old have been watching your show for three years. Before Daniel, the four year old was interested in cartoons, he would get excited to watch Garden Answer with me. He's an avid gardener and I credit much of that to you. I'm a better gardener because I watch your videos and that's translated to being able to get my kids excited about gardening that right there it's awesome one of their favorite types of videos are mail time and unboxing i've watched you unbox a big set of fiskars tools at least 20 times so while we are homeschooling uh, suddenly homeschooling i decided to make letter writing a part of our school day that's awesome and the first name both anna marie and daniel shouted when asked who they would like to write to was yours they would love to see you to see their drawings on a mail time video or they would love to see their drawings on a mail time video um, Daniel has drawn many pictures for Benjamin. He informs me that he has included some math, spelling, and games on the sheets for Benjamin. He also added a small note for Garden Answer and Aaron. They both only call you Garden Answer regardless of my reminders that that is not your name. <laughs> Anna Marie drew you a card. The tree on the front was apricot colored blooms because she knows you love those. The inside picture is you caring for your cut flower garden. And then it goes on just super sweet, super sweet stuff. So let's take a look at these pictures from Anna Marie and Daniel. Anna Marie with the apricot colored blooms on the tree. And then there's me tending to my garden. Oh, awesome job. Your drawing skill is superb, Anna Marie. Beautiful. And then these must be from Daniel. Nice choice of colors, Daniel. Really bright and bold, I love that. Stickers are always a good choice too. Oh, very nice. Very nice controlled drawing there. Very cool. Well, thank you guys, Anna Marie and Daniel, for taking the time to draw Benjamin, Aaron, and I some pictures. I'm really looking forward to sharing these with them when I'm done here with this mail time video. Oh, doesn't that just make your day? That just made my whole entire week right there. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, so I actually opened this card up earlier because I do open a lot of the cards prior to mail time videos and read them. From Joanne Ford, she ordered me some flowers for my moon garden that will arrive this fall. So Muscari White Magic right there and Joan of Arc Crocus. That is so sweet and something so fun to look forward to. Thank you so much. And this is from Catherine in Illinois. Oh, we've got a bunch of blank note cards. So Catherine is a gardener and nature level lover, but also a watercolorist. CatherineWeberWatercolors.com. Oh, she said she chose, these are uh, prints from some of her larger watercolors. And she said she chose all the ones that have like insects or flowers in them that I would be interested in. Monarch, caterpillar, caterpillar monarch butterfly, is this a phlox? Oh, praying mantis. That's cool. Oops. 
that's cool. Little bird, pretty berries, grasshopper. Is this another, gra another grasshopper? Sorry, you guys, I just realized that these have shiny coverings on them. I hope that they're, you're, you're able to see them. Try to be mindful of the angle I'm showing them to you. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. I really like that one. And chicken. Awesome. Thank you, Catherine. I'm starting to get quite the collection of note cards. I love that. Okay, another box from Amazon. From Kelly in Michigan. The Legend of Sleeping Bear. Okay, another book for Benjamin and I to enjoy. Thank you, Kelly. Okay, now this one is from Christina in Pennsylvania. These are to go on my nature inspired tree. It is never, she said, I wonder, I'm sorry these are so late to come out. That's never too late for Christmas decorations ever. Oh, look at these. We're adding a touch of style and elegance to our everyday cookware mitts. I think is how it put it on the little paper. These are um, oven mitts right here. I have, I don't think I've ever seen oven mitts that are like actual gloves. These are awesome. Looking forward to trying them out. Christina said she really enjoys hers. That'll be fun. Okay, so this one is from Butterfly Mover in Florida. This might be from a business, I'm not sure. We will find out. It's like a dolly, kind of. Oh, see? Put things on that to move things around. You read up here, hold on. So it's a, a plant item a mover, plant caddy, do not exceed the weight limit of 200 pounds. So it can move 200 pounds around. Pretty awesome. So it comes, came with two, a mover base. There was actually two of them in here. From Catherine at thebutterflymover.com. That's awesome. So there's enough, there's enough to do two bases with two sets of wheels. They must realize how hard I use my stuff. <laughs> I'll try not to exceed the weight limit. They just stick in there like that, right? Okay. Like this. There we go, you see that? The wheels uh, spin too. So, oh, okay. <laughs> I think I'm starting to understand. So is the, is the goal to just keep this underneath your plant like you do with other caddies? And then you just keep this like out, like in a closet somewhere. And if you need to move your plant, then you can come over and just like whoop, slide it away and then slide it back if you need to. And then you can go replace this. And that's why there's two so that I can put two plants up on caddies. Catherine, if you watch this video, let me know if that is true. <laughs> if that is really what the, um, the purpose is because that's pretty cool. All right, guys, so that is it for today's mail time video. Thank you to everybody who sent these things out and for all of you who watched this video. I know that a lot of you guys enjoy watching um, what people send over to. It's just, it's kind of fun, the variety of things that come. And I always get to try new stuff out, which is really fun, like stuff I've never seen before or I've never known about, or um, maybe like wouldn't make the, I guess, the decision to buy um, just because like with these, like, I don't know, if I saw these in a store, I would kind of be skeptical, like, do those work? You know, or do people actually like them? But hearing somebody say like, I love these, you need to try them, and then sending them out, that's so much fun. Because <laughs> then it allows me to try things that maybe I wouldn't try because I just don't know. So anyway, uh, it was really pleasant being able to spend some time with you guys today in the sun porch where it's nice and cool. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic week and we will see you in the next video, bye.